In a world of countless objects, there are five unique shapes that are so special. They've captivated the human imagination for thousands of years. These shapes share similar properties and are the only five of their kind. These are the Platonic Solids. The Platonic Solids are the Tetrahedron, Hexahedron, Octahedron, Dodecahedron, and Icosahedron, and are named after the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, who associated them with the classical elements, fire, earth, air, the universe, and water, respectively. Plato wrote about the solids in his dialogue Timaeus, around 360 BC. However, while Plato is credited with popularizing these shapes, the Greeks already knew about the solids long before him. The ancient Greeks, including Pythagoras and his followers known as the Pythagoreans, studied these shapes earlier than Plato. In fact, Pythagoras is credited with discovering three of the solids, which were the tetrahedron, cube, and dodecahedron. If he didn't discover them, he may have become familiar with them from the time he spent in Egypt and Babylon, and then brought the knowledge to Greece. The ancient Egyptians likely already knew about at least three of the solids, and their ideas would have influenced Pythagoras, who lived there for about 22 years. Theaetetus, a contemporary of Plato, may have discovered the other two solids. Whether this is true or not, what we do know is that Theaetetus described all five of the shapes, and he was also the first to prove that this group of solids are the only five regular convex polyhedra that exist. The beauty and importance of the platonic solids lies in their symmetry. Each face, angle, and side within a particular solid is identical. What's more, all the edges or vertices fits perfectly inside a sphere. This perfection in form, a microcosm of cosmic harmony, didn't escape the notice of ancient thinkers. For Plato, these shapes were not mere mathematical curiosities. They were the very building blocks of the universe through their association with the five elements. Each solid corresponded to an element, the fundamental substances that combined in various ways to form the material world. So let's break down each of the platonic solids in detail. Number one, tetrahedron, four triangular faces. As the simplest of the platonic solids, the tetrahedron represents the concept of a minimum limit or starting point. In chemistry, the tetrahedral shape describes the molecular geometry of certain compounds where a central atom forms four bonds. In Plato's Timaeus, the tetrahedron is associated with the element of fire. Its sharp points and edges symbolize the heat and flame of fire. In some spiritual traditions, it represents the solar plexus chakra and personal power. Number two, hexahedron or cube, six square faces. It is a common shape in nature and human-made structures due to its stability. Plato linked the cube to the element of Earth, suggesting stability, grounding, and a solid foundation. In sacred geometry, it's seen as the physical realm and material world. Number three, octahedron, eight triangular faces. The octahedron is dual to the cube, meaning if you connect the centers of adjacent faces of a cube, you get an octahedron and vice versa. Representing the element of air, it's associated with the heart chakra and the processes of the mind, intellect, and integration. Number four, dodecahedron, 12 pentagonal faces. This solid has a rich history in mathematics and was a subject of intrigue for many ancient scholars because of its complexity and how rare it is in the natural world. Plato associated the dodecahedron with the cosmos or the universe itself. In later traditions, the dodecahedron was associated with the fifth element, spirit or ether. It's seen as a representation of the divine, often linked to the heavens, and in some traditions, it's related to the third eye chakra, suggesting intuition and spiritual awakening. Number five, icosahedron, 20 triangular faces. Dual to the dodecahedron, the icosahedron represents equilibrium and balance in geometric terms. Corresponding to the element of water, it symbolizes flow, emotions, and the deeper layers of the subconscious. In spirituality, it's linked to the sacral chakra, denoting creativity and procreation. 
One sacred geometry shape that has a strong association with the five platonic solids is the Metatron's cube. We've done an entire video about Metatron's cube, so check that video out if you'd like to learn more about it. When you look closely at Metatron's cube, you can trace the 2D outlines of the five platonic solids within its design. As the platonic solids are the building blocks of the universe, this connection indicates that Metatron's cube is a sort of map or blueprint for the universe. By containing all the platonic solids, Metatron's cube symbolizes the underlying patterns and structures governing everything from the microcosm, like atoms, to the macrocosm, like stars and galaxies. This is why Metatron's cube is so highly valued in sacred geometry. It wasn't just the Greeks who revered these forms. These solids appear in various ancient cultures, often ascribed with spiritual significance. Shapes that look like the solids have been found in Scotland dating back 5,000 years. The cube, for instance, can be found in sacred architecture, like the Holy of Holies in Solomon's Temple or the Kaaba in Mecca. Fast forward to the Renaissance, a period of revived interest in classical knowledge, and the Platonic solids were once again at the forefront, prominent in science, art, and spirituality. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci produced meticulous drawings of these shapes, celebrating their geometric perfection and their deeper symbolic meanings. Johannes Kepler, the renowned 17th century German astronomer and mathematician, believed that the distances between the planet's orbits could be explained by placing the five platonic solids inside one another in a specific order, suggesting a hidden geometric structure to the universe. In modern times, while our understanding of the physical world has expanded far beyond the classical elements, the allure of the platonic solids remains. They are now seen as foundational shapes in the study of geometry and are vital in various scientific fields. In metaphysical and spiritual circles, these solids are believed to hold unique vibrational frequencies, making them popular tools for meditation and energy work. But why have these five solids simple in structure yet infinite in interpretation, maintained such a lasting grip on our collective imagination? Perhaps it's their intrinsic perfection, reminding us of the harmony inherent in the universe. Or maybe it's their unbroken link to our past, a geometric thread that connects us to the ancients, their dreams, and their understanding of the cosmos. They stand as enduring symbols of the quest for knowledge, the patterns underlying existence, and the interconnectedness of all things. Through them, we're reminded that the universe, in all its vast complexity, is bound together by simple, elegant truths. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. It helps the mysterious algorithm do its things so we can continue to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.